guys, it's Amanda G. Go Go. I have a video for you. Today is what is in my first aid box. Now, I know in the past I've done a video like what's in my first aid kit, meaning my little miniature one that I carry with me when I'm uh, out hiking and whatnot. This one is what's in my first aid box, which is straight up just I keep it in my room and I use it to restock my mini kits that I take out with me and it's just really convenient I just keep it on my bookshelf that's over here you can't really see it and I don't feel like moving the camera but it's just sitting on my shelf but uh, yeah this is what's in this box I'm gonna go through these things in no particular order because as you can clearly see this is not very well organized right now and it needs to be reorganized but um, yeah so I'm just going to pick out things and go through them. Uh, the first two things actually will not fit in this box because, like I said, I need to clean it out. But I have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and lanolin. I have a bottle of sporin is. Everyone should own some. Next I have band-aids. These are really big band-aids as you can see. They, you know, take a big box. Next I have masks, which these are actually more project mask, they're not medical mask, and they're not like wrapped up or anything. These are mainly, I use these when I'm dusting the house because the dust messes with my allergies so I just stick them on my face. Um, hmm. Next I have a rain poncho. Not been used yet obviously because otherwise it would not be folded this neatly and fit in this tiny little thermal box. blanket. I have a granola bar. Usually I keep an entire box. I need to restock because I'm almost out. I keep these on me because I constantly keep food on me, especially if I'm gone for any length of time where there might not be food available to me or don't have cash to go get food because when I get hungry I have to eat otherwise I will get shaky and sick and just not very pleasant to be around. Um, I get irritable and stuff really easily so I just I keep food on me. Another bottle of Lanocaine, which is almost empty. I need to toss it. We'll finish using it and toss it out. This, uh, they're little Colgate Wisp things. They're really good to take camping with you because you don't have to have toothbrush, toothpaste, worry about that if you're going to be gone for a while and you don't want, like, skink mouth. These are disposable, but, yeah, they're just little, they have, like, a little bead of toothpaste in them. Comes in a pack of four. It was, like, three dollars at Walmart, but, yeah, I just use that. Batteries, which these are double A, triple A. It would have been really nice to know that I had these. I forgot I did. I've got a multi tool. I don't feel like pulling out all the things in it. I think I've shown it in a previous video. Look at my other first aid videos. But it's just got pliers, screwdriver, can opener, saw, stuff. Like they love biodegradable camp soap. It smells like <laughs> dishwashing detergent. It's kind of gross, but it. It's about a great one. It's clean. Um, <clears throat> sunscreen. That's what this stuff is called. I have lids to my water bottle because I have different types of lids to go on it. This is just an empty case. It's actually a camera case, but I think it makes a really good first aid kit, so I use it. Swimmer's Instant Ear Dry. This stuff is really good, you know, if you've been swimming in a creek river lake or even I just keep it on. This is just aloe vera. This was an empty shampoo travel size bottle and I wrapped duct tape around it because you can never have too much duct tape. I actually have duct tape wrapped around cardboard that will fit in a billfold or wallet, pocket, whatever as well. But yeah, this is just full of aloe vera. I get sunburnt sometimes and aloe vera is my friend. This is a little package of cough drops. They are cherry flavored and they are awesome and they're sugar free. But, uh, yeah, never know when you'll have cough drops or need them. This is just instructions on cleaning my hydration reservoir that I keep in my backpack. These I got from the store Dunham Sports. <laughs> they were free, and they were just nifty. It's um, a camping checklist and a canoe slash kayak safety checklist. And I just thought these were really nifty little brochure camping. I have this, which says alcohol swabs. But it has a lot more than that. Of course, I do have all of my alcohol swabs are just little bitty gauze shaped pads soaked in alcohol. <clears throat> I have 
wiping clear, anti-fog, anti-static, lens cleaning tissue. It's not really first aid, but it's just in there. And then I have like, you know, moist towelettes. Just, I keep it. Band-aids of different kinds. These are non-adherent. These are just regular band-aids. And then, and these are latex free if you have a latex allergy. I have run out of my waterproof band-aids because I went through those during the summer. And then I also had um, sports ones that like hold up really well if you're gonna be out running around gallivanting in the woods. This straw, it's filled with Neosporin. I keep these in my little uh, mini first aid kits. I keep a couple because it's just kind of one use, throw it away. Easier than carrying around a whole bottle. I have a roll of dental floss. A tea light candle with a razor blade taped to the back. What's in my first aid? I have giant gauze pads and it's like this one and it just folds out. It can get, you know, this one's actually been cut in half, but as you can see, this is half of one. So they fold out to a pretty good size. I've been using them, you know, to clean wounds with and then to actually cover wounds with and whatnot. And then I have this stuff. It is Orgel. Like, numbing tooth stuff in case you have a toothache. I personally hate this stuff. I think I'm allergic to it because it just makes made my mouth hurt way, way worse when I would use it when I had a toothache as opposed to using the natural version of this which is clove oil and that stuff works amazingly and instantly and I would recommend clove oil to anyone with a toothache personally. And now my box is empty. This is just a, the box is just a container I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yeah, so that's all for what's in my first aid box. I know that was so interesting. Um, I don't know. I'm one of those weird people. I love walking around pharmacies and finding medical supplies and stuff like that. So, just, you know, I like to stock up on first aid junk. As accident prone as I am, I'm always needing it. So, and it's good to have around if a friend gets injured. But yeah, so that's all. Sorry this ran on so long. Bye. Always keep those.